Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to import architectural drawings saved as images like PNGs or JPEGs to 3ds Max and how to set them up as blueprints for modeling. So let's go. This is the design drawing I want to import. It's saved as PNG file. I create a plane and a very simple scanline material. It's going to be physical material and I create bitmap and link it to the material. And I click show material in viewport and assign material to selection. I will convert the plane to editable poly and add UV map to it. And I tick the option to apply the UV modifier even when I'm in the vertex level. So I can modify the plane without affecting the mapping of the reference. Right now the display of textures in viewports is not giving me enough information for modeling. They are too blurry. I need to set up better viewport quality. The first thing I do is I go to viewport material settings and I click realistic materials and maps. The image still has too low quality for a reference for modeling. I go to configure viewports and set the texture maps resolution to a bigger value. The bigger the better but basically you need to fine tune between quality and the performance of your video card. 5k is enough for me. I keep anti-aliasing off so I can save some resources. If I see any pixels in references it means that I have reached maximum quality for displaying textures. Now it looks much better. I can also turn off blur and filtering the texture for better performance. In older versions of Max, this kind of settings were set in preferences, customized display driver settings. But if you are using older graphics card or work on a laptop, 3ds Max may not be able to use DirectX driver. For example, you can see black empty viewports or not be able to see vertex points. In this case, you should try working with a different driver like OpenGL, for example. Now let's set the right proportions and dimensions of the blueprint. In UV map I will use bitmap fit. So now the proportions are ok. I need to make sure that also the dimensions are correct. I need at least one or better two longest dimensions from the drawing. It's important that it's the longest dimension from the drawing because if you make a little mistake, like a centimeter on the length of for example 10 meters, it's not really going to make the size of the model wrong. If you made this 1 cm error for example on a wall which is 12 cm thick, then it will be a considerable mistake. Also in general in architectural drawing the longest dimensions like construction axis should be correct. There may be errors somewhere on the minor features of the design, they are changed very often and sometimes they may not match the dimensions numbers precisely. Now I will create a plane 1016 cm long, it's going to be my measure. And I will align the size of the reference image to the measure plane. So the length of the wall on the drawing is 1016 cm in 3ds Max units. I move the gizmo of the drawing to the end of this measurement plane, so it will be easier to scale the drawing. And now I'm scaling the drawing. I'm checking if the plane and the drawing still match at the pivot point. It's fine. At the end I can fine tune the scaling with more precision here. And it's ok, the proportions and dimensions are fine. I will double check on the other axis and it's fine too. Ok, I still have all the drawings on one sheet. I need to split them to separate planes for every view or section. I'm copying the reference and moving the vertices to get one drawing per one plane. And I center the pivot points. All of the drawings are ready. Now I want to work in a way that the height dimensions on the blueprints, like floor levels for example, match the 3ds Max coordinate system in Z-axis. Thanks to that I will be able to use absolute values in all the fields where I input dimensions. I will not need to calculate them manually. In Poland where I leave the zero level of a building is the level of finished floor. I align the sections and plants so they match each other. To match the floor plan and roof plan, I can create a box which will mark their common element, like stairs for example. I align the roof plan according to this box. I place all the drawings around the plan and I name them accordingly. I move the plans below the zero level. I create a plane on zero height as a reference. I place the elevations and sections so they match the scene's coordinate system. So basically the zero level on the drawing is the zero level in 3ds Max coordinate system. And at the end I will give you some tricks that will make your work easier. I select all the references. 
open object properties window and turn off show frozen in gray option. And I turn on freeze so I won't accidentally move them while working. I tick back face cool on so the drawings which are turned back to me won't block out the view. But I have two drawings, the elevation and the section per every view. I will place them on different layers so I can switch between them. And the whole setup is ready. I can choose different views, switch between elevations, and all my data from the blueprint matches the 3ds Max coordinate system. That's it. If you have any questions, please ask them in comments, I will be happy to answer. Please hit like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.